I was just so scared. I couldn't even think straight. Trevor Thomas is still very shaken after being shot in his face while working as an MTA conductor. The gunman used a BB gun. Had it been a real gun, Thomas tells PIX11 News he could have been dead. It could have been a lot worse. I was just scared, traumatized. A real gun. And I would have been, I would not be here to tell this story today. It happened last week around 9 Monday night. Thomas had just taken a break and was headed back on his downtown two train here at the 219th Street stop when he felt a stinging pain in his nose. I felt my nose. I'm like, oh man, I started bleeding all over the train and bleeding all over my shirt. It kind of hit my eye, kind of got blinded, kind of got deaf, a whole lot more damage. Thomas has been a train conductor for nine years, and he says this is the third time he's been assaulted this year alone, including being spat on by a passenger. PIX11 News has learned assaults on MTA employees are still happening almost daily. The first week of the month alone, there have been two assaults on MTA staff in the subway, four on buses, and seven employees were harassed in the subway, 28 on buses. As far as Thomas being shot, in a statement, the Transit Workers Union said, this is a heinous attack on a transit worker, which underscores the need for greater protections and stronger laws to keep our members safe. But labor transit leader and advocate for workers, Tremel Thompson, says words are not enough, that the MTA and union dropped the ball, keeping information about assaults on staff quiet. It just boggles my mind how a conductor could be shot in the face and there's absolutely no word from the company or the union. Thompson says underground is not as safe as the MTA would like riders to think. And his colleagues are often the targets. Thompson was also assaulted. I was spit on. The crime never went away, and it's not going anywhere. The reality is, if the workers aren't safe, the riders aren't safe. Well, the MTA sent us a statement saying that the safety of passengers and employees is their top priority. And remember, we've been talking about overall crime being down in the subway. The MTA is crediting that there's more officers there and more cameras. That's why we're seeing the numbers. But as far as Thomas is concerned, well, he's just afraid to go back to work. For now, we're live in the Mott Haven section of the Bronx. Nicole Johnson. PIX11 News.